All right, guys. Well, it is another snowy midwinter day in December. It is a Monday. It is a Monday. That would be December 12th, 2022. So I just spent 30 minutes doing my daily medium.com chronicle of the collapse. I'm down here at the laundromat washing my sorry we are so fucked t-shirt because you know my mama always told me do not let yourself be caught in the collapse of global industrial civilization wearing a dirty we are so fucked t-shirt so I just spent well it was 25 minutes I guess how long it took to do my laundry doing my medium.com rant about how doomed we are and went to upload it on the computer there was nothing there i just wasted enough but it wasn't that good a one i think it was the universe trying to tell me it wasn't what i did was i checked in with one of these eco psychologists i looked up an eco psychologist on uh, medium.com to find out how to weather through the anxiety and depression and the usual stuff uh, to navigate the doomosphere. And unfortunately, by the time I got to the end of the article, I read nothing in the article that gave me any suggestion of how we were supposed to. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, increase your social strengths or something. Anyway, talking about uh, how depressing it is to eat alone. Anyway, so I think that was the universe. But there is a much more. Anyway, guys, to hell with medium.com. We have something much more uh, important than all of those eco-psychologists uh, telling us uh, how to survive this. Uh, as you know, since it is the number one story on the planet, <clears throat> what is going on this week? It is the single most important meeting anywhere on the planet. We are, of course, talking about COP15, the UN biodiversity meeting uh, going on up there in uh, Montreal. I've already done a rant, everything you need to know about COP15 in any other UN biodiversity meeting. So if you haven't listened to that rant, I highly suggest you do. But anyway, I have an important announcement from Avaz.com. I am, you know, I am a member of a, a vise.com, you know, the sign a petition to save the planet and, of course, send us money, send us $2 to save the planet and sign a petition. I guess there is not, they're not even bothering with the petition. They just want the money. And uh, so we're going to hear about a deafening roar for the planet. That sound you hear coming out of Montreal, that deaf, that is a deafening roar to save the planet. And uh, Avaz wants $2 for you to join the, the deafening roar. Take it away. Dear friends, humanity has become a weapon of mass extinction. As the human population tops 8 billion the rest of life is being decimated. We have destroyed two-thirds of the rainforest, half the coral reefs, and a million species are now facing oblivion for the future of life on Earth. The next seven days is absolutely critical. For the future of life on Earth, the next seven days, absolutely critical. Right now, right now, 
governments and scientists are in final negotiations for a new global deal to stop the destruction of nature. But there is real danger. It will be weak and full of holes. Yes. We literally, literally, there's nothing figurative, nothing ambiguous about it. We literally have a few days to ensure, ensure that leaders follow the science and give us a treaty that is ambitious enough to be a turning point for life on Earth. Our team is on the ground. Yeah, probably uh, on the ground uh, with a knee in their back uh, being arrested. Anyway, our team is on the ground going all out. But your urgent support now could supercharge their crucial work. If 40,000 people, okay, just so you understand this, if 40,000 people make a small donation, we can shake the halls of power <coughs> at the talks and beyond with the voices of noble savages, scientists, and millions of citizens. We will face down the polluters. We will face down the polluters and the poachers, pushing leaders to do what the planet is screaming for. Yes, I promise you this. We will fight with every fiber of our being because Earth cannot wait anymore. For the bees, the birds, the bears, and every strand in the fragile web of life, join this deafening roar, roar, roar for the planet. Donate what you can now. Yes. More than 100 governments want to protect 30% of the planet by 2030. All right. More than 100 governments want to protect 30% of the planet by 2030. But scientists say 30% isn't enough. Hmm. For nature to regenerate, and to save our planet's life support systems, we have to protect half the Earth. Yes, protecting 30% is not enough. We have to protect half the Earth. <laughs> oh, God. And we need a global treaty to enforce action to save half the planet. You know, as I've, I've, I've said this before, you know, half the planet is better than saving no planet at all. You know, if, if this is, if these are our choices, save a planet, save half a planet, save 30% of a planet, uh, you know, half a planet is better than 30% of a planet. Can't argue with this. Our team of campaigners has been fighting tooth and nail to shape this treaty. And they're at the global summit right now. But our budget is already at breaking point, and too many leaders are still siding with the polluters 
and weakening the agreement. Weakening the agreement to save 30% of the planet. There we go. We need a major surge of people power to save life on Earth. And we can start right now. If enough of us make a small no make a small donation, we will fight shoulder to shoulder with key advocates and scientists, putting maximum pressure on world leaders at the talks and beyond. We will ensure noble savage voices are at the heart of protecting nature. We cannot defending law, defend life on earth without securing noble savages' rights to their land and homes. Okay. If enough of us make a small donation of 40,000 people, we'll send them at least $2, we will go all out. Go all out at the talks with a media blitz hard-hitting stunts and social media storms to put pressure on governments who are sabotaging ambition and the future of our planet. We will work with dozens of celebrities around the world to amplify our call for politicians for politicians to conserve at least half of our planet by 2030 and restore our relationship with nature. And we will continue to power Avaz's fight to defend critical ecosystems, fighting to give nature space to recover and to defend our common home while we still can. Yes. Ultimately, this is about our survival. Even as the planet withers, even as the planet withers, the chainsaws, diggers, and polluters are charging ahead pulverizing our planet into a barren, lifeless tundra. We cannot miss this opportunity to fight for life on Earth. Donate what you can now. Yes, what happens to the natural world happens to us all. We are not separate from nature. We are part of it, connected by the very trees, rivers, and oceans that are being decimated. But it's not too late. It is not too late. We can still change course for the earth of our dreams. Let's rise together. Now, with fierce, with fierce, with fierce, with fierce. and endless determination. Signed, Mike, Mary, Gona, Adelia, Caitlin, Camille, Bert, and the whole time out of Oz. There you go. Well, uh, anyway, this deafening roar from uh, Montreal I can see the media blitz as being very successful. I can see how many stories on uh, the most important meeting on the planet are showing up in today's mainstream media. 
<sighs> but anyway, I think my I think my electric dryer in the laundromat has finished spinning. So my sorry we're so fucked shirt should be dry. So I can uh, gather that up and head to the chainsaw shop to get my chain sharpened to head up into the snow with my chainsaw while I still can. I highly suggest you get out there, enjoy, and join the deafening roar. Sancho Panza, are you joining the deafening roar to save the planet? Bye, guys.